All right, now we're down here by the Island of Refuge. And as you can see behind me, this is the path of the uh, future proposed possible uh, extension of the linear trail. Uh, if we were to come over here and cross the street, it's going to continue way down in that orientation. And for some reason, the state of Connecticut decided to build the Island of Refuge way over here. It's completely out of alignment. All right, so as you can see, we've got the Island of Refuge right behind me. And uh, the point of that is uh, so they don't have to put a crosswalk here or a traffic light or some kind of bridge or a tunnel. They decided the best way to go was for people to cross the road uh, halfway at a time. Uh, like some modern day uh, game of human frogger where the pedestrian will cross out into the center, wait for the coast to be clear in the other direction, and continue on. Uh, now you'll see that uh, they even thought to make a little uh, graduated incline on each end of the uh, island right up and hit the pedestrians while they're standing out in the middle. Okay, now as you can see over my shoulder here is the keep right sign. So they've installed signs for uh, the motorists. Uh, and it's a good thing they did because, you know, as, as you keep right in this direction going uh, east, you can kind of keep going straight if you're in a car. But if you're coming from the other direction, uh, heading west, you actually have to swerve around the island. Uh, you know, so someone not paying attention could potentially just drive right over that. Now also there's going to be uh, apparently two of the fancy light poles right out in the middle. Um, not going to offer any protection to the pedestrian obviously. Uh, I can't imagine what they could possibly do to make this safer. Uh, there's going to be drunks running over this thing every weekend. All right now, as I was saying, the proposed trail is going to be coming from behind Cliff. Uh, somehow it's going to be some kind of chicane over here. Here, uh, so the pedestrians can cross. One problem I see, and I know this construction project isn't finished yet, but they didn't even take care to install some kind of uh, ramp. Um, I just don't know how any type of uh, wheeled vehicle uh, or you know wheeled pedestrian, uh, stroller, bicycle, or uh, wheelchair is supposed to cross here. I just don't know. All right. Uh, We've been talking about um, how there's going to be uh, cars hitting this thing frequently. And I could say for sure, you know, one positive benefit to the economy is, uh, is just that. Because Strollo's towing service is about 200 feet away from here. And uh, they're going to be towing cars off of this thing every day. So all I can tell you is, you know, five or ten years from now, if this uh, exercise trail is completed, and this is the official crossing site, 